what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts here back with another edition of the promised neverland today we're embarking on the second half of the first season i don't know if i'm gonna do all six in this session i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know if i'm gonna do all six depending on how it's going i might get hyped enough to finish up the first season of the anime in this sit down right here in this my recording session so when i look at this anime let's talk about it um when i look at this anime as i said there's certain things that kind of put plot holes into it but you know i i'm always willing to take corrections from anybody that i you know that you know see that maybe i missed something maybe i looked away for a quick second and missed a line or something that would explain something i don't mind seeing that stuff in the comment section at all so if there's some if there's somewhere where i'm having you disagree with anything that i'm saying about the anime because i know you know some people they don't like when other people disagree um or criticize their you know favorite anime or whatever the situation is and as i said i've pointed out a couple of things that leaving you know holes in the story that is just not in some ways it's not believable because we're talking about you know 11 year olds and five year olds or six year olds or, or whatever the situation is right that's what we're talking about here right so it just it just kind of puts certain things into perspective for you because you're looking at these age differences right you're looking at what the hell is this <laughs> you're looking at these age differences here like how is this even possible um but as i said certain things are just in the realm of possibility based on what the writer is writing so when you kind of dive a little deeper of course you're gonna find those holes because as I've stated in plenty of times before, um, this doesn't take me out of the immersion of this anime. It's just that when I see those things, I point them out because I like to do a reaction. I also like to do a review. I like to point out those things because when you don't point out those things, you know what I'm saying? In my opinion, I'm doing my subscribers a disservice because of how I've been doing things on this channel for the longest. You get what I'm saying? I'm not one of those reactors that just jump up and wave. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And get excited over every little thing they see on screen. Um, it's just for me, it's just like I try to enjoy what I'm watching. And especially the story comes number one for me. It's not just about the animation. It's not just about, um, you know, great OSTs and stuff like that. Oh, this music. You know what I'm saying? Those things are enjoyable as well. But number one for me is always the story. And if there's holes in the story, I'm going to point them out in my opinion, because sometimes you got to compare it to the continuity of things and, you know, setting up an anime as a very grounded anime and then having, you know, these certain things is just like, why you could have written this so much better. And sometimes it can be a translation error too you know um but based on what i'm seeing and what i'm reading based on the subs you know what i'm saying like i have to 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 judge it based on that you get what i'm saying and that doesn't make the anime any, any more less enjoyable because you know what i'm saying i'm not doing this for views you know what i mean like i'm not doing what well, partially you get what i'm saying yes for views but i'm not doing my critique of the anime is not for views i'm not doing this so people can come and hate on me or you know what i'm saying i'm just trying to do what i what i normally do and yes you know i might not be some people's cup of tea and i understand that but for all of you that rock with me you know that i welcome all kinds of comments on my channel just keep it respectful and your comment won't get deleted <laughs> you know what i'm saying so just keep it respectful you know plenty of people has disagree with my takes in the past about whatever it is that i'm watching and i've rebutted i've you know what i'm saying have a conversation decent conversation of people i hate when people just like i don't like that and then they just like leave it it's just like what don't you like about it you know what i mean so i like those people who can express themselves and do what needs to be done and it seems like my camera is youing me like the you i don't know why my lips are like very pick 
I don't like my lips being too big. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're going to jump in. And I will see you for the review. Guys, you already know what to do. Don't let me have to ask you to do the freest thing on YouTube, okay? Hit the like button, man. Subscribe. You know. Let's go. Oh! Oh, really? Oh, damn. Ooh. I mean, I would, I, I'm going to tell you that I work with you, but. That is crazy, though. That sh I don't know. I just don't trust her, bro. Like, I don't. This freaking raised voice, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I have to look that up because it's going to bug me. Raised voice. I'm trying to remember somebody from if it's someone from my hero academia that voice is so familiar it's not even funny i don't think it's from naruto but uh let me see let me see killer woman i know that voice sounds so familiar 
so from who else she does she does levy from fairy tale as well but the voice it, it's bugging me because i know it's it, it it just i just couldn't remember who it was but it's killua from hunter hunter man oh my the voice it was killing me i was like this voice sounds extremely familiar <laughs> like from from like a couple of episodes ago i i wanted to look it up and yeah now <laughs> right, let's bring this back a little bit Straight up, right to the point. Man, she sure is giving up all this information easily. Twenty six. I mean, I figured that much, but... I mean, she was one of the kids. 
ことないわ。八神に頼って六人数入ってきて、重罪すらしていないはず。Him. Don't wave the booty now. <laughs> A creepy ass smile, bruh. Twenty six, my ass. <laughs> Are you looking like a like, like she like close to fifty at least? It's just a bad drawing. <laughs>
I wonder if they left a note for her. <laughs> she le he left her a note. Who is grandma? I'm guessing. Yo. Like, did I guess that right? Because Isabella just comes off as, yeah, you know I'm saying that type of woman that was she was shank you, bro. Damn, Isabella said to hell with you, <laughs> yo. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right. So that was episode seven of the Promise Neverland. It was a very interesting episode, to say the least. Um, I never trusted Miss Crone, so good riddance, I guess. Um, I never trusted her because she has so much, so much ambition and ulterior motives. Like, it's, it's so hard to read her. But I'm glad that Norman, you know what I'm saying, is smart enough to to recognize that, you know what I'm saying? Like, she can make all the promises she wants. She doesn't have, but she probably doesn't know, you know what I'm saying? I'm wondering what she found, though. That's the thing. Like, I'm wondering what she found um, that um, it seems like Ray let her find it. Because, you know what I'm saying? They're not stupid enough to, you know, just leave evidence right there where they know the moms can just search for stuff like that it, it, it you know what i'm saying like um to to the understanding of the level of intellect that these kids have i wouldn't expect them to do something like that so i do think that ray left something there on purpose for her to find i don't know what it is yet but it seems like it's evidence against isabella um but also isabella seems like she's shipping her off you know what i'm saying so or you know let her go somewhere else or whatever the situation is. So we learned some interesting thing, things about, you know what I'm saying, on, you know, the plot and, you know, world building or whatever is, is basically, um, but then again, this all came from Miss Crony. So we don't know if it's actually true of how this worked, but I think she was telling some truth, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to take it with a grain of salt, but we're going to talk about it anyway. So when it comes on to um, the situation outside of what she doesn't know how long has demon been running the world or, you know, or, or where they are um, currently. She doesn't know how long because she was a kid also. So all the girls, they have um, a choice when they get to 12 years old. If they live to see 12 years old, they get to choose. You get either get shipped out or you can go train to be a mom, right? Um, but the thing about it, they don't know that you're going to get eaten. So I'm pretty sure that if they choose, you know, I want to go to a foster family. I don't want to be a mom or, or go train to be a mom. You know what I'm saying? And they go and they get eaten. Um, so it, it just goes to show you. And also the adults, um, they, it's, they have this electrical thing in your in your body 
which will stop their heart if they cross the fence. And also I was thinking, I mean, of course they're not going to do that to the kids because of course they're kids, you know, um, operating on them and putting something like that. It's like freaking open heart surgery that they have to do to do that. So it's kind, it's, it's kind of weird the way how, um, that would go or, you know, to prevent them from leaving or rebelling or anything like that. It makes sense. But even though you feel like you've broken out of that cage by training to become a mom, you're still under very, very, um, um, high surveillance. You know what I'm saying? So it is crazy to me that, you know, they're doing, they're doing all this and what the world building. This was a way, this was a really good episode. Like I enjoyed this episode a lot, a lot of information, um, being thrown out there. Um, and then, you know what I'm saying? It's the, it's the, the hokey dokes and stuff. And, and you know, the kids versus the adults, you know what I mean? Isabella is in my opinion. And, and, and the thing about it is this, we don't see her very often. We don't see her every, every night. We don't get to hear her have conversations very often. You know what I'm saying? I think she's probably have about 10 minutes, maybe not even 10 minutes, but maybe around that area of screen time in seven episodes. And she's one of the more, the most interesting characters to me because we don't really know much about her except from what we're hearing from Miss Crony. Like we don't know much about her character because she doesn't really talk about herself um, to Ray or anything like that. She's just, we just got to take everything, not only at face value, but also from a third party, which is never good. When you, when a, a lot of times when you, when somebody else is telling you about another person, usually you have to take those things as a grain of grain of salt, because no matter how much, you know what I'm saying? Of a family they may be, they could still not have all the information about a person uh, or know what their intentions are going to be. You can, you know what I mean? Like a, a, a lot of times that's what it comes down to. So when it comes down to, to Isabella, she's still much, she's still, uh, there's still a lot of mystery around her. And she's, in my opinion, she's the most intriguing character in the show so far. You get what I'm saying? Like for the most part, we know, you know what I'm saying? They revealed you know, Ray as the spy, we already know Emma is, you know what I'm saying? If you want to call her the, the main protagonist and we have Norman, which in my opinion is the smartest out of the bunch. Um, so I'm just intrigued to know more about her. And as I said before, man, I don't think she's a bad character. I think she has a motive that we just don't know about yet. And I don't know, I don't know what it is. Like, I just don't feel like she's that bad of a person. I don't know why she's coming off like that to me, but it's just, I don't know. Maybe it's just my, you know, experience with, with anime and writing and all of this other stuff of how characters sometimes are, you know, authors use characters to mislead you into thinking certain things. And then it turns out that, you know, she just doesn't come off as a person who's a horrible person. I don't know. I don't know. Even though she's just clouded in mystery around her character still, you know? So yeah, man, great episodes. You know, they're worried for a reason they have to worry and they got to be very, very careful in what they're doing because I'm pretty sure that, you know what I'm saying? Um, Miss Crony, as much as I feel for her and her situation of, you know what I'm saying? Her training to become a mom and stuff like that. She also mentions a grandma, which I'm guessing is the person that trains all the moms. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not thinking that they're, you know, it's their actual grandma, but I'm thinking that it's probably somebody who oversees all the plants and sends the moms out to their locations and stuff like that. And, um, that's, that's what I'm thinking, but yeah, man, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, it's great, man, watching the show. And that was a really, really good episode. Like, I was paying attention because you guys know how I do, man. I pay attention to the dialogue because the dialogue tells you a lot about what you're watching. Not just, you know, 
or waiting for this and that to happen and especially in an anime like this which there's no action you know what i'm saying it's all clouded in mystery it's like a it's like you're watching a, a drama um it, it, and it's it's a horror kind of genre you know what i'm saying because they really don't know what their fate is going to be they're trying to escape you know their their fate but at the same time it's a very it's so risky and you you're like the tension is there because you don't know who's gonna be alive and who's going who's going to survive this versus who's not gonna survive um so yeah man i appreciate y'all make sure you like the video make sure you leave a comment and as always man you know what to do subscribe if you're new it's your boy terabyte reacts and i'm out peace